Day 34 of this pandemic, and for the second consecutive day, the number of new cases went down, but not the number of deaths. I'm really sad to report 55 additional deaths today. This is the highest daily total we've reported. 42 deaths yesterday, 40 on Tuesday. Today, 55, 455 total deaths from this virus in the county. The mortality rate, 4.2%. And the question, why such an increase? Why now? It is puzzling when you see that our cases are staying relatively stable, but our death, the number of deaths that I'm reporting every day uh, has gone up for this entire week. One of the things that we are seeing is the possibility that people are in the hospital and then uh, they go ahead and, and die at a later date, uh, which would explain this lag. You know, we're not the only city to see this lag. Uh, New York City has the same phenomena. But the death totals in Los Angeles and New York City can't even compare. 455 in Los Angeles. In New York City, just over 7,900 to date. I will say that's one of the reasons why we're very focused on making sure that uh, we are using our mortality data, the death data, to also guide all of our decisions. More than 70,000 people have been tested in the county, and she said more and more people are being tested every day. And she reminded everyone again about this. Every day we're getting closer to ha being able to see uh, a time when more people are going to be able to go back to work and there'll be more places that will be open. We're never going to be able to go back to exactly the way it was before COVID-19, but we are moving towards being on the other side of this pandemic. A little bit of hope is always good, isn't it? From downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, KCON 9 News.